Driven to despair by the war, more ghouls than ever are joining the Church of Eternal Life, a ghoul cult based north of Brighttown. Though many are fearful of the group, our reporters have determined that the church wants nothing more than to worship their god in peace. That said, there does seem to be a violent offshoot operating somewhere in the frontier, so be careful. Don't change the channel. We'll be right back. Alright, everyone in! Quickly, we have to help the settlement! You idiots! <laughs> Crash the van! <laughs> Is this where the settlement needs our help? Good god, man! <laughs> That's like 20,000 caps on that van! I don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> the vehicle has sunk! <laughs> god damn you! <laughs> Oh, I can't destroy it. All right, we want time. No, oh, we're being shot at. No, it's fine. It's fine. Just drive, 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 drive. You know, I, I think maybe. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> oh god, this is so buggy. <laughs> oh god, we're getting peppered and porked and paprikaed. <laughs> Well, it was nice while it lasted. Oh, man. Hey, buddy. Might want to start running. We yeah, gonna... guys, run, run. We got some hot trouble behind us. You know that whole thing about EOD? If you can see me running, try to keep up. Yeah, doing it right now. Oh, good. We're running into more other guys. <laughs> oh! Get explosive. oh, I took a wrong turn at 5th and Lincoln. Go! Stop throwing an explosive! Who is yelling that anyway? FPG? Duh. Oh, it's a Magpul FMG9. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's basically a Magpul folding machine gun. I. Uh, all right. Well, I don't want this. <laughs> no, give it to Donathan. What? Oh, you're talking about the... Uh, She's talking about these guys. Man, it should be nice if we had some kind of armored transport vehicle. That hurt! The problem is those transport vehicles don't actually seem to be armored in any way. They can, but not if you drive them into a combat zone. Where the hell else was I supposed to drive it, Mike? Around. It's not like these roads are clearly labeled or even accessible. <laughs> Yeah, you could drive the vehicle. Uh, also, it can't drive over this thing. Can't go that way. You can't go that way because there's a million people and also a bunch of rubble. Oh, for God's sake. There's help to pay, and I'm here to collect a check. Oh, that's a good one-liner. I like that. Oh, I am almost out of 38 special. That's a way worse one-liner. Don't announce your weaknesses. I'm getting too old for this shit. How old are you? I'm 23. Good God. Good God, Wasteland's harsh, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. You gotta wonder where these Wendigos are coming from. <sighs> from hell, where they belong. Yeah. <laughs> Just hearing Donovan off in the distance. Well, I don't want to fight Wendigos in the no. What? The hell is this? I thought it was just foggy up ahead. This is a crater. <laughs> okay, go around the crater. All right. Donovan, Maybe. why is it taking you so long to kill this dude? Because you're shooting a tree. Look how easy that was, Donovan. Aim Look at how easy that was. Aim for the knees, dummy. I know you were trained to shoot center mass for your entire life, but you're going to have to fix that real quick. More Wendigos. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. That was way off. Goodness, I am just all over the place. There we go. <laughs> this probably isn't the best idea, but at least it's fun. <laughs> isn't that what it's all about, though? It's all, life's about the journey, not the destination. Now I see why you throw grenades at me all the time. This is hilarious. I wish I could cook these things. There's a certain finesse required. You gotta bank it off quarters. Hey! <laughs> that was great. All right, I got shotgun. Son of it, how'd you, how'd you even get over there? I don't think I'll last. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> and, Ow! And Donovan's dead. Or he's sleepy. He just took a nap. Oh, see, I could have just taken this path. 
Yep. Jolene was smart. She took the path. <laughs> Jolene's got the oh, right idea. the path is being illuminated by Nuka Cola bottles. Oh, well, we were too stupid to figure uh, it out. That's what the glowing green things were. I, I blame the fog. The fog, I couldn't see it. Oh, hey there, buddy. How you doing? Gonna shoot you in the leg with this 12 gauge shotgun. Hey, big guy! Big guy! Oh, we killed the Holy Guardian. Right. Door open! Yeah, Nuka-Cola guides the way. I, I actually like how it's lit with Nuka-Cola bottles. This doesn't look good. Um, are you guys hostile? Are you worshipping a nuclear weapon? Bathe in the waters of life. Bathe in the waters of life. Bathe in the waters of life. Bathe in the waters of life! Shed the earthly flesh. Live for eternity. Live for eternity! Bathe in the waters of life. Bathe in the waters of life! Hooray, they're not shooting us! Yeah, this is a fucking Titan one. Uh, yeah, it's an old but still active nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile. Don't poke it! <laughs> Good advice. Hello. A new visitor. And you're an unholy one? This is very unusual to have an unholy guest arrive in our church. No unholy has ever survived the holy guardians of the church. Mm -hmm. Perhaps faith has brought you here, unholy one. Actually, a radio broadcast brought us here. The holy guardians? You mean that thing I killed before I came in here? They are the ones who have fully shed their earthliness, allowing them to become holy guardians of the church. It is the highest honor that can be achieved in our church, and is what we all aspire to one day become. I'll keep training. Yeah, one day you too could be murdered by a bunch of passersby. <laughs> Why do you keep calling me unholy one? The unholy are ones who have yet to shed their mortal flesh and embrace the eternal life. Only once you have undergone the transformation to remove your earthliness, you will be seen as holy. So what tenets does your church believe? We seek to achieve otherworldly enlightenments. Without the tiresome need to constantly satisfy our earthly desires to eat, drink, sleep, or fornicate. We may only need to bathe in the waters of life to achieve immortality. Damn, it sounds pretty good to me. I'm in. We have never allowed an unholy one to enter into our flock. I am afraid it is not up to me to decide. You will have to speak to our high priest. He is the wisest of us all, and who we all follow. He will decide your fate. His name is Greg. But be warned. If the high priest expresses any displeasure in you, we will, by order, have to cover you in pitch and burn you alive. Um, Sweet. I'll unlock the door to the high priest. Hope it goes well for you. <laughs> I'm sure it will. <laughs> yes, yeah, so just one other question. You've returned. Is there still something you seek? Yeah, so you guys worship an undetonated nuclear warhead, huh? Ah, you must be referring to the monolith in the center of the church. Uh huh. Yes, we give praise to this monolith for providing us with the waters of life needed to baptize ourselves and achieve eternal life. We believe this monolith was left by the gods to help us seek their enlightenment. Okay, I gotta go now. You are welcome to stay here for now. So yeah, a couple problems I'm noticing immediately. If this is a Titan 1, that means the only thing that's holding the Titan 1 up and supported is the fuel on the inside of it, which all that fuel should have leaked out by now. So there is no way this thing would still be standing. Well, maybe they've been keeping it up. The, the fuselage of this thing is ba basically as thick as a nickel. Bathe in the waters of life. Yes, the Titan 1 missile made by Martin Marionetta. I think Martin Marionetta. Is that Martin, Mar Martin Marionetta? Live for eternity. The Titan I intercontinental ballistic missile is an incredibly precise and finicky piece of equipment that requires constant maintenance just to stand upright like this. They have to recirculate the fuel like every couple months, I think. The, the nuclear weapon's got to be maintained to make sure that it still works. The tritium booster in it's probably way gone by now. Maybe they don't care about the functionality of it. Maybe they like to worship it. Well, that's the thing, though. If you don't, like, recirculate the fuel every couple months, and if you don't, like, maintain it, the whole missile's just going to collapse on itself. Uh, it seems to be standing right now. Anyway, I'm tired of getting irradiated in there. Yeah, let's get irradiated in here instead. Now let's meet their holy god. It's... 
a feral glowing one. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Who's not attacking us? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Feel free to take a Twinkie on your way out. All right, he has spared us, right? How can I help? Do you got anything to say about this? That outfit is rather comely for a secret agent. <laughs> is this better, love? Whoa! <laughs> hey oh! Huh, uh, huh, um. Yet? Yup. Yup. That's better. <laughs> That wasteland is a wacky place. It's so weird. What the hell? Why do you have a gold plate in 1911 with a suppressor? Are you seeing this, my dude? <laughs> Look at him. He's like, holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Those games. Oh, my penis had not rotted off, let me tell you. Tate. Jolene Tate. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it, not stirred. How do I get you to change your outfit back? Never mind. Let's go. You'll miss me, sweetheart. They always do. Well, what did the high priest have to say? He said, <laughs> Ah, excellent. The high priest has given you his blessings. <laughs> but this was only oh. the first step to becoming a member of the eternal life. You must next baptize yourself in the waters of life. Venture down to the glowing pool at the bottom of the monolith and soak in its glory for no less than 30 seconds. Hell yeah, let's go! Fun stuff. Give praise to the monolith. Give praise to the monolith! Yeah, that's right, Life get into it! Eternity. Give praise to the monolith. There was a time where you would be vehemently against soaking in radiation. Life Give eternity. praise to the monolith! It's nice that you're coming out of your shell. Just I'm gonna be coming out of my skin in a minute here. <laughs> that's the joke I was gonna go for. Ah! Give praise to the monolith! I shall shed the earthly flesh. Uh, Mike, you don't have to partake, too. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I think it's getting Donovan sick. Ah, it's tingly. You guys don't have to do this, too. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this for the meme. You, Jolene, you really don't want to put your face in that. We don't have nearly enough rat away. Yeah. I'm Give praise to the monolith. Why am I standing in the, in the W trap? I do not want to be standing in the W trap of an ICBM. Hey, hey, hey. My man. I can already see the earthliness beginning to shed from you. Yeah. The essence of eternal life has cleansed you. Your trials are nearly complete. All that is left is to find Ghoul Jesus. Ooh. Accept Ghoul Jesus into your heart and be given his blessings. Look for Ghoul Jesus at the ruined church on the hill just south of here. He will give you his blessings when he appears to you, but you must first accept him into your heart before he will come before you. <laughs> yeah. You can begin your pilgrimage as soon as you feel you are ready. I, I feel like I'm ready right now. You probably feel like a million bucks. What, Zach? You you forgot you forgot your clump of hair. Oh, can you bring that for me? I'll just I'll just stick it back on as soon as we get outside. Yeah, I got the duct tape. All right, thank you. All right, now that we're outside, I'm getting rid of this radiation. <laughs> <laughs> Smart idea. Uh, hello? Behold, I'm the mighty Quimby Jones. Watch as I channel my mystic powers to make your caps disappear. Hoo, 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 this is the part where you give me some caps. Is this a mugging? A very, very, very bad mugging? Tell me about this magic. It is passed down from generation to generation. A secret art that allows one to access the dimension that lies just beyond our own. It is from this dimension that I draw my spectacular power. All right, let's see what you can do. Now watch as your caps disappear. Hey. Oh, damn, they just disappeared. Holy shit, do it again. Do it again. S stop humoring him. Do it again. Quimby, do the trick again. Do the trick again, Quimby. Don't look Pro at me. Tip. I'm not getting involved. Be more judicious with your kills. A little discretion goes a long way. No, he's a new magician in town. He made his head magically disappear. Oh, oh there's my 20 caps. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the abandoned church. We visited this place temporarily. Uh, are you cool, Jesus? Hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing here, Smoothskin? Don't make one move or I'll blow your fucking head off. Are you cool, Jesus? Oh. Hmm. Wait just a sec. Okay. We'll wait. Do you want to read any good books lately, Jolene? 
Um, I, oh, Ghoul Jesus is it's back. It's I, Ghoul <laughs> Jesus. I can see you have come here for my blessings, my child. Hell yeah. That will be, hmm, 200 bottle caps. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Wait, hang on. Are you the real Ghoul Jesus? Why, of course I'm the real Ghoul Jesus. I'm just as real as Ghoul Santa Claus. Do you, do you know Ghoul Santa Claus? Do you have an in with Ghoul Santa Claus? All right, here's 200 bottle caps. You now have my blessings, my child. Here's the receipt. No refunds. <laughs> oh, a receipt, too? Oh, my God. Yes, I can write that off on my taxes. Thank you for your blessings, Ghoul Jesus. No, thank you, dumbass. <laughs> I fucking love this. <laughs> this is great. Thanks, cool Jesus. Go away. In peace, you mean? Okay. We're gonna go back there and there's not gonna be anyone there. This is just a huge grift they're running. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, I got 200 caps in that last guy. And they're like, two do you know how much it costs to rent out this missile silo? <laughs> you gotta get more than 200 caps out of these people, cool Jesus. Utilities aren't included, you know. Have you found cool Jesus? You know it, buddy. Here's the receipt. Excellent. I hereby welcome you as a follower of the Church of Eternal Life. Woo! You may bathe and drink from the waters of life as you please. I will also now grant you access to our stockpile. Stockpile? Feel free to take what you like and help spread the essence of eternal life throughout the world. Yes, 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 yes. You have now increased your resistance to radiation. Hooray! Ooh! <laughs> Glad I did this stupid quest. <laughs> hey, Bathe buddy, how's it going? Bathe in the waters of life. Bathe in the waters of life. Peace be with you too. Ho ho. Ooh. Uh, I think that is their stockpile. Is just radio. Oh god, it's horribly radioactive in here. I'll take those mini nukes. Uh, irradiated crunchy mute fruit, some sugar bombs. This stockpile sucks. <laughs> it's just a couple of mini nukes. That's it. A power core. Well, that was a fun little expedition. Let's never come back here again. Oh, I got irreparably irradiated. My DNA is separating itself. So that's fun. Praise to the holy pillar. No, praise to the monolith. I'm, right. I'm, I'm from a different sect. Oh, okay. Yeah, we uh, we already had a divergence. I, I, I nailed my 39 rules to the door. Did you not read those? I believe in transubstantiation now. Consubstantiation is for losers. Wait, I think Ghoul Jesus stole 200 caps from me. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Yep, I'm just hanging out in here, you know, doing whatever it is I do. Most of my teeth have fallen out of my head. If you see my benches laying around, please tell me where they are. 